It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Turpin's Brewery in Cambridge. And it's a can of their new American Pale Ale coming in at 5% ABV. Unfined Craft Hazy Beer, they've described it. 330 milliliter can. At this stage of the beer review, I want to say a massive thank you to Andy. Andy's 80s boy. Thank you very much for the beer. I know you visit all these wonderful tap rooms down the Cambridgeshire area and you really wanted to get this to beer to me. So thank you. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Wow, quite a lively one, that one. Look at that. N-A-P-A, -A, New American Pale Ale. You can, you can hear it. I was going to stick it up to the microphone then, but the microphone's not there anymore. And I don't know where it is on an iPhone, maybe over there. Where's your ear go? Your ear goes up there, doesn't it? So I talk down that end. No, the mic. Yes. Uh, talk down that end, so maybe here. I'm not sure if you heard that. Um, anyway, just passing time while the, the head dissipates a little bit. We've got a three finger white head dissipating very quickly. Um, beer in the bottom of the glass. It's, it's interesting looking beer. Golden amber coloured beer. Hazy. It's going to look like that for American American Pale Ale. I think they're pretty spot on with the, the way the beer looks. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it's spiky and tropical. Melon. I'm picking melon up in the aroma with a little bit of spice. Let's see if we can quietly... That's as quiet as we, we could possibly have gone there. But the head, it, you can see by the head, it wants, to, it wants to fall apart. It wants to dissipate very, very quickly. It's not going to, it's going to be a matter of seconds before I'm able to get in and taste this beer. You can see it, look, you can see it falling apart at the top there. Here we go then. Soft, fruity, drinkable, very refreshing, very soft. They must have really good soft water down there in Cambridge or that they've treated the water nicely. Very soft, very drinkable, very refreshing. Um, there's some orange peel, flashy blood orange, passion fruit kind of mango flavours coming through. Carbonation pushes the beer round the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. I am struggling though, and I'm not afraid to say it. I am, I am struggling with the pour. Um, it, 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 it's okay for like maybe the first bit, and then it dissipates, and you pour the rest of the beer in, and it's fine. But it, it does become slightly annoying where you, you, you're getting a massive head each time, and and I mean, there's no off flavors. There's no off flavours in the beer to suggest that 
um, or, or you know, give you that reason why the beer has a massive kind of head on it. But um, all the same, it's um, it is rather frustrating when you just want to get into the beer and really show it off. I want to show it off to the camera. I want to kind of promote this beer in, in its best way, but it won't let me do it. It won't let me do it. Lemon, passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, a little bit of sweetness from the malt over there to begin with, a little bit of kind of bitterness from the hops over there. It's doing a fantastic job of, of balancing the beer out for me. Um, there's a little bit of spiciness in there, pepperiness. It's a decent beer. It's a decent beer. I just, you know, hopefully it's just a batch thing where I've had a, a little problem with my with my batch there. But never mind, never mind. Um, and not much of a description either. Water, hops, yeast, malted barley, oats and gluten. Turpinsbrewery.co.uk Sawston Trade Park, Cambridge. There we are. You can go and find them down there. Maybe they got a tap room where you can go and drink this on the, on the tap down there. But you can see the head. You can see it just it's just falling apart. But it just wants to build itself back up. And I mean, I want to get the... If there's any sediment left in that can... There we go. We're all in. We're all in. And it looks, you can see the difference in the, the colour of the beer now. Look at that. What a difference. Smells the same, tastes the same. Maybe slightly more body now now that i've added the the rest of the beer to the to the glass a little bit more body coming through but a decent beer a decent beer i think we're gonna rate it i think we're gonna rate it uh new american pale ale by turpin's brewery the first beer that i've ever had from turpin's brewery um quite nice if they could sort the head out in the next batches that would be even better Thank you very much to Andy's 80s, 80s boy for sending me the beer. Really appreciate it. With all the lovely what's it that you sent at the same time. Um, I like this beer enough to give it. It's a, it's 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.